Hi, this is Robin Moses, and I am starting a series of tutorials of basic techniques to get you started. I use two brushes for all 1400 plus of my tutorials. This is the wand, and this is the unicorn. The wand is used in 99% of my tutorials because it is a liner and it is magic. And it'll say it, wand, and then you can get it at robinmosesnailart.com. The second brush I use is a striping brush, and it's called a unicorn because it has a long horn on it. Striping brushes are very hard to come by, and in my 28-year career, I have only found one that really lasted me, and I tried my best to duplicate it when creating this brush. These brushes run up to $50 a piece, and I sell mine for $10, but I do that because I want you guys to learn how to do striping because once you learn how to do this technique nobody can take it from you and it is something that is very valuable and something also that's fun to play with and practice it is wonderful for people who love animal stripes and stuff like that okay so without further ado <clears throat> all of my um, designs are done with acrylic paint the acrylic paint that I use most is Delta Ceram Coat. It's just acrylic paint. And then I also use Folk Art for all of my metallics. And I use Folk Art for my neons and they come out in the spring and in the summer. And I really suggest that you get a neon collection. And then lastly I use Apple Barrel and I don't know if I can find one. There we go. Lastly, there's Apple Barrel. Apple Barrel is the cheapest and I think one of the best in coverages. So if you can find Apple Barrel, you can find it at Walmart or any craft store. Any of those are the best and I have gold, yellow, dark green, a metallic green, and a dark brown. Okay, so for the first basic tutorial, I am going to do what is most requested in my 28 year career. And then I'm gonna tell you, okay, here we go. I'm filling my brush up like this, halfway. You can find out how to uh, get your brush clean and started in my frequently asked playlist. I'll also have it in this playlist for the beginner video vid playlist. It's, uh, I put about, it, about halfway up the brush with the paint it is watered down with water that I use with a body mister. Body misters spray soft sprays so that you don't get a water all over the place. You just get a little tiny bit. And you just want a little tiny bit and you want to spray the, the, the paint at least two or three times during um, a session of doing nail art. Now, I hold my brush flat against the nail like this. I roll off extra on my finger and use that as a palette. So it's nice and pointy. And then I go like this and pull like that. And as I pull, as I pull, I pull my brush up off the nail. And as, I, as it goes off the nail, the line gets thinner. And then pull, push, and pull up like that. And that creates the beginning of so many of my designs. You have to get that technique down. So I would suggest that you guys try it on this, try it on a piece of paper, and then just do this move over and over again. It is very, very important. Now, that being said, I'm gonna go on to part two with the next video and keep on going with this video, but Here is a nail on a stick. When the when when you're when you're working with a nail on a stick, you're not holding a hand. You're not holding the client's hand. When you're working up here, it's so easy for it to look like it's effortless and that you can just make whatever you want because you don't have a person attached. So it's very difficult for you to learn this way, especially to gain speed because you're not working on a real person. So, so my 
my um, suggestion to you guys is to really be careful about what you're watching and trying to duplicate and don't let yourself feel like you're failing because you can't get it right because doing it this way is a totally different application than doing it on a client and doing it on a client is what I am teaching um, I am not teaching just to make pretty nails online I want you to have clients and I want you to have a successful career so if I were going to practice but you don't have clients yet <clears throat> practice along the middle of the nail and make sure that when you're rolling that you pretend that it is a finger when you're rolling. It's very difficult. Do you see how I'm struggling? And I've done this 28 years. It, it's not the same thing. It, it, it doesn't mean it's better or worse. It's just not going to serve you as well as when you have a, a hand in front of you and you've been practicing on a hand-like thing with a cuticle area because you don't see you don't get anything on the cuticle here so you don't know how to get the cuticle clean so <laughs> so okay so now with that being said get back in here there we go with that being said when when I have a cuticle then I can I can go and I can anchor and then go like this anchor go like this but it is nothing like working on a on a on a nail that is that is loose okay so <clears throat> when you're working on your clients it should go fast and effortlessly like this and don't worry about getting all of your lines the same color the same thickness you want it to look uh, ethereal and beautiful and in in like less than a minute you can have both hands done this way and go on to the next. So I seriously want you to take that in consideration and I will meet you back with tutorial number two, which is leaves. Boom.